Today we will discuss about the facts of deuterium project in the Philippines. As we all know that, deuterium as per study has more potential uses that we will be discussing later on and it is timely to extract these precious minerals which will be found in the ocean to minimize the effect of climate change in the world today and in the future. Before we proceed in the definition of deuterium, we will take a look first in the different isotopes of hydrogen. First is the proteum, it is an isotope of hydrogen which has no neutron and it is very commonly found in our bodies of water. Second is the deuterium, which has one neutron in its structure and more heavier than proteum. The third one is tritium, it has two neutrons and radioactive it is more heavier than the two isotopes previously mentioned. Deuterium or heavy water is composed of two isotopes of hydrogen and an oxygen atom. It has a chemical formula of H2 or D2O. It was discovered by Harold Urey in 1931. With more hydrogen molecules than ordinary water, it is much heavier than water and even salt water, causing it to naturally sink farther into deep ocean trenches. Accordingly, the Philippine Trench is the largest in the world which has 868 miles long, 52 miles at the widest point and 3 miles deep. What are the uses of deuterium? Deuterium can be used to replace the fossil fuels such as gasoline, diesel, kerosene slash avgas or aircraft fuel liquefied petroleum gas or LPG and liquefied natural gas or LNG in powering all types of internal combustion engines including spacecraft. Other uses of deuterium are the following, it can replace natural gas in powering gas turbine combined cycle power plant or GTCC. It is used as coolant and moderator in nuclear power plants and it is used as moderator in proton NMR equipment to neutralize the high speed particles of light beam in treating dreaded diseases. The government and its people will be benefited when this will be officially extracted because it can be one of the solution in the energy crisis we face today. Deuterium also can be used as a shielding gas for welding. Aerospace industry nowadays are using liquid hydrogen in fueling rockets and it is used as fuel in hydrogen powered tank. It can be used also in the manufacturing of silicon semiconductor and microchips. Since we are now in the age of technology advancement, Deuterium is very useful and can be one of the additives in manufacturing different very large-scale integration or VLSI integrated circuits and many other applications. Deuterium gas also is used to enhance the properties of optical fibers. Since internet is very useful today, internet service providers use mostly fiber optics as transmission line to carry wide bandwidth of signal and to accommodate large number of traffic and fast internet connection in medical aspect also it is used as a tracer for metabolic studies and diagnosis of metabolic related diseases advantages of deuterium deuterium has many advantages to name a few, first, it is non-pollutant and no carbon emission in the air. Carbon emission is one of the problem the world facing today because it has a great effect to our ozone layer. In return, we are now experiencing today the global warming which has a direct effect in food production sector. Food crisis are being experienced in some countries nowadays. That's why the government should create a solution to mitigate this urgent problem. Second, deuterium has a high efficiency compared to fossil fuels. One liter of deuterium can be used up to 375 km. Third, deuterium has unlimited supply. 
due to an ending earth motion from west to east and due to gravity the philippine trench is replenished 24 hours of approximately 85 million barrels fourth it is the key solution of the global warming we face today if all vehicles in the future including power plants will use this energy global warming will be lessened and deuterium is the alternative solution in the uncontrollable fuel crisis since it is unlimited and have a high efficiency it can supply mostly to all countries in the world we are finished with the key concept of deuterium including its definition uses and advantages we will focus now with the main proponents of the project maybe you were asking who is the proponent of this project well to answer with your question the main proponent of the deuterium project in the philippines is no other than his majesty supreme king philemon o riambanansa he is the founding chairman of the kingdom of god incorporated the founding chairman of the two implementing companies of this project namely the Royal Alpha Omega Ring Trading Corporation or TRAORTC and Philippine Deuterium Development and Management Corporation or PDDMC. He was the one who spiritually surveyed the projected locations and sites of deuterium deposits in the Philippine archipelago which has a much lesser water pressure compared to the Philippine Trench. The first implementing arm or company of the deuterium project is the Royal Alpha Omega Ring Trading Corporation or TRARTC. It was responsible for the global marketing selling, supply daily consumption, income sharing to beneficiaries, salaries and wages of employees in the project. And it has a Securities and Exchange Commission or SEC registration number of CS20150438. The second implementing arm or company of the Deuterium project is the Philippine Deuterium Development and Management Corporation or PDDMC. Its main function are the following, gathering of technical data, exploration, research and development the company is also responsible of the procurement construction operation extraction logistics maintenance and manage the deuterium rigs in the philippines it has a securities and exchange commission or sec registration number of cs20180181 Thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates if you like to join fill out the google form link and follow the fb page in the description